Right, hey guys, this is uh, my podcast. This is the Jesse podcast because I'm the best and I like doing podcasts. We're doing wrestling because I don't know anything else and I'm pretty shit at everything else. Uh, we're going to go through Raw, SmackDown, Buddy 205 Live, which no one watches, and NXT, which some people watch. And we're also going to go through Fastlane and do predictions and that malarkey and bullshit. Uh, we have Mitch. Hi, Mitch. Yo. Yeah, Mitch, Mitch is a bit of a mark. He's pretty shit at what he does, but, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um... So we're going to go through Raw. Did you watch Raw, Mitch? Yes, I did. You did? Okay, good. Because I didn't, but I read it. So I recorded it and then watched it after. Hey, nice. No, nah, I, I did watch it. Nice. I just I can't do that anymore because I'm just a scrub and I yep, can't get sad. Yeah, no fuck still. So, yeah. Fair. So Kevin Owens confronting Goldberg, which was pretty good. Um, yes. I, I liked um, it. And they... It was good. I did, and they they left it like with Kevin with the upper hand as well. Yeah, yeah. Whereas everything's been left with like Goldberg, just I don't know, with the upper hand. But that, this was good. Yeah, I I did like it, and I I think he's got that um that evolution of Kevin Owens thing going, um which I think yes. is gonna factor into Fastlane, because uh, when he said yeah, it's definitely. the evolution of Kevin Owens, I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we had the New Day versus they defeated Rusev uh, and Jinder Mahal, which I honestly just don't yeah. give two shits about. Like New I Day don't, but like poor Rusev. I know, <laughs> handsome Rusev. Rusev's like one of my poor favorite Rusev. guys. He's like one of my favorite guys ever. He just gets and... destroyed by everyone. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, oh, you're doing nothing with him. Like at least give him the US Championship or nothing or anything like. Oh my god, just... Yes, uh, yeah. And they Fair. brought back Jinder Mahal for the brand split and he's done absolutely shit all as well. It's just sad. I know, he has. And now New yeah, Day is just To be like, honest, yeah. I didn't know how freaking, like, ripped he was, yeah. Mahal. <laughs> like, he is huge. Yeah, he's massive. He's like six foot five or something. And he's yeah, just, he's, oh, huge, he's a huge bloke. Um... Well, the New Day, uh, what's happened to them? <laughs> yeah, like all of a sudden they've just gone out of it. And now club champs and... Yeah, well, the club aren't well, the best get to that. Like, I love the club and I love Gallows and Anderson and their wrestling and all that yeah. crap. But they're just booked the worst ever. And I hate that. Yep. Definitely. But like, no, just uh, New Day, just the I'm not liking them whatsoever at the moment just because it's... They're just there to cheat pops, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, and, no, uh, and now they're hosting WrestleMania, so they don't have a match at WrestleMania. They're probably just going to beat up the Shining Stars or something. Um, so, I, yeah. But, like, what are else are they going to do with them? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the problem. Uh, yeah, them. pretty it's much. Like, oh, you've done everything. You've done the heel. You've done the face. What is yeah. there left? What's left? They should just Xavier Woods should just have a run on his own because Xavier Woods is a great. Oh, wrestler. I was reading. I oh know it was either on YouTube or I was reading it about Big E splitting from the group eventually. I'd like to see that. And becoming his own. What go for? Yeah. Big so would I. I would like. Yeah, that. pretty much. Because he's like. I, I wouldn't mind that at all. He's a good wrestler. He's, I, I mean, Kofi like had his run. Team. Yeah, yeah, back back in the day when he was Jamaican. Yeah, Kofi had... <laughs> yeah, when, when he was Jamaican. Um, what was the next match? The... Uh... You alright? <laughs> oh, the 205 match that was on Raw. The two, yeah, oh, yeah. The I think of the match uh, after Cesar that. Yeah, Cesaro and Noem Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I don't watch... Really give a two shits about the Cruiserweights. Like, Neither do I. I'm like, mean... watching Noam Dar on like WCPW and all this like stuff in England. Sorry, the UK, I should say, um, was really cool. And he's a good wrestler. Like they're all good wrestlers, but they're just boring. <laughs> yeah, and this whole thing with bloody um, Alicia Fox as well. <laughs> Don't you mean Alicia Fox? <laughs> bloody, <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> uh, now the women's women's tag team match. Flair and Jax versus Bailey and Sasha Bay. Oh, I don't know what I think about that, eh? I don't... The leg drop was boring. enough to, like, a decapitate 
Yeah, because it's a Hogan Did League. You... Right? <laughs> yeah, she bloody like hell is nice. Twenty-two inch pythons, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like um Nia Jax, or I don't really like Bailey either. So I mean, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, it's been a bit. As good as the wrestling is, it's just kind of getting a bit boring for me because it's just the same four women in rotation, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, pretty much. So Pretty it's much. like, oh, Sasha Banks and Charlotte Flair now kind of have a thing as well. Didn't that already happen? Yeah. And Bailey um, and Nia Jax, that already happened, didn't it? In NXT? Yep. yep. And, like, not Pretty so much. long ago either? It's just, it's weird. Like, it, it's, and now they're putting them, like, together in a tag team. Yeah, so why a tag team, like, Bailey and Sasha, like, why have a tag team? Why not just have, like... Two mat two matches on the card. If if they f- made a feud out of Bailey and Sasha, eventually, yeah, that'd be cool. That could. What, that ba- would be Bailey right. turning? I would, yeah, but I don't want to see Char- Sasha turn heel, because then it's just the mm. whole NXT thing again. Like that's what happened. Pretty much. It was just getting boring. It's like getting boring for me. Like what ha- kept happening with um, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. It was like, yeah, you got good matches, but like. I don't think Bailey would turn heel. No, I just exactly. wouldn't like. I mean, all she cares about is like the kids and all this stuff and being a role model. So I like, I honestly believe that she would just not give in to turning heel in any way. Yeah, and but then that, that that's the thing. I don't want to see ba- uh, Sasha turn heel either. Or... Exactly. Exactly. Get, like, so like, I, I don't know what they're doing. Just, just get a, ask Vince. Get a He's always got an idea. <laughs> it's oh, I don't. I don't know what I think about the women's wrestling. Like the the wrestling's fine. It's just fuck. Like yeah, for yeah. me, it's like the two hundred five live. Like when it comes on the Pretty TV, much. I go. I've seen it before. It's Good just break. it's just like here you go. They could do. I mean, but, they're, they're wrestling. Like I don't mind it at all. It's just like the whole storyline of it now is just yeah, exactly. A bit, don't know. Yeah. But I find that's only for the. For me, it's only for Raw. Um. When it comes to the SmackDown, the Smackdown women's, women's, it's actually yeah. very interesting. Um, and I go, I mean, oh, that whole going to happen? The stuff last week with Maurice coming out with, like, a freaking pole. <laughs> yeah, what was that? That was, like, just That was so way. weird. She came out with a pole, and it was like, what? Is that, like, and it's supposed to be a lead pipe? And the away. Or... But, like, the, the shots she was giving the, um, it's a pool Mickey, toy. it was so weird. It was, she was, Ooh, like, giving her shots, and I was like, Wait, what? Nikki's like going, ooh, yeah. that hurt. I'm like, it's a lead pipe, you bastard. Just, what are you doing? Oh. Uh, what was Big Cass and Luke Gallows? Ah, uh, yuck. I don't like Enzo or Cass. I'm bored of them. No, I, oh, I, look, I don't mind Big Cass, but Enzo is just, yeah, okay. ever okay. since yeah. his entrance in the Royal Rumble, <laughs> <laughs> it was just... <laughs> I remember sitting here Why going, do you exist? going, who's coming next? And Enzo came out. I was like, oh, God, I hope he gets killed. And he did. And Just, I was very happy. He did. But I th- that, that matched me. Exact, yeah, they're the exact same as New Day. They're just, oh, hello. Where Enzo yeah. and Cass? Catchphrase, catchphrase. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean. I don't know what I. Just there. Oh, the next match. I like this match. Seamus and Titus. and Titus and Neo. I love Seamus now. That was eh? funny. I love Seamus now. Did you eh? see... You, you saw, like, the whole thing before it, though, where Titus comes up to sit next to Seamus when they yeah. were eating? <laughs> that was good. Definitely, eh? And then <laughs> Titus just jumped Seamus and then freaking <laughs> broke kick two seconds later. <laughs> I really like Seamus. It was and just... Him and Cesaro so just do I. work. They are so good. I love their entrance. Yeah, how, um, how Cesaro just comes out of nowhere. Yeah, and Seamus when is like, everything goes dark. And then, oh, what's this spot? And bloody Cesaro just comes out and it's like, oh, hello. <sighs> so I like how they just <laughs> put it together somehow. It's like, oh, <laughs> I didn't think this was going to work. Just, nope. Um, that was then, really good. Yeah, and then did you did you see the, you saw the Seth Rollins um, thing? At, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was good. He, apparently, the Triple H, was like, that was reveals he's going to be at Wrestlemania, but it's like, oh, now that you've said it. <laughs> I know, I, I know. Choice. The fact that he said it, 
it's a bit. How, how do you think they're gonna book that? Uh, I think it should. I think uh, Seth Rollins should still verse Triple H at Mania, no matter what, because Seth Rollins yeah. has gone through things, and Seth Rollins should get the win. And I know if his knee's not fine, then that's understandable. But like, if you have, even if it's a work, even if you have the knee like in a brace while they're wrestling, and yeah, and then it's then Steve it's, Austin style. Exactly, and then it's more of an underdog story because you you don't look at Seth Rollins and go, oh, yeah. he's an underdog. You go, oh, he's like a two-time WWE champion. Hmm. Big underdog. Exactly. Um, he's like done all this stuff and he's a really good wrestler and so if he's got actual an actual um knee injury brace on to... yeah if he's yeah. got an injury and you can see that it's an injury it, you go oh i triple h could actually definitely win this and triple h could get some heat getting on the um the old knee and actually look like a proper heel <laughs> not that he isn't because he's yeah, yeah he is but i think it's, mm. yeah the knee brace just works it, it, would, it would definitely add to it Exactly. I would, I yeah, it would definitely add to a WrestleMania. Exactly, and it's just one of those things where you just you look at it and you go. Do you think? Mm. Do you think they have the match on the card, or they just he would enter out of nowhere? I'd say put the match on the card because yeah, uh, in in a in kayfabe it works. Just him entering. Yeah. And going on yeah, a yeah. match, but. Nobody's that dumb it, anymore, mm. I guess. Nobody's that dumb anymore, and so if they actually put it on the card, because if he just walks out and goes, "I want a match," Triple H goes, "Oh, okay," and it's like, yeah, yeah, nowhere, yeah. People are gonna go, "Oh, why does Triple H have his ring gear here? Why is this whole? Why is this pyro there? Why is all this stuff set up for Triple H?" Um, just make it <laughs> like um, like Seth Triple- Rollins with a knee brace versus Triple H in a suit. That'll work. <laughs> And he just comes out like with all these with all these business businessmen walking down the the massive ramp. Because <laughs> you know how he always has a bloody massive oh. um, <laughs> massive entrance. He just walks down. J and J security. <laughs> and then Brock comes back, down and destroys their car. So high, I'd pop so hard if they came oh, back. Okay. That would be, be so happy. funny. I'd just, I'd they're a, my oh, they're a tag team. <laughs> They should they should have debuted in the um at a, a what was the last elimination chamber then um in the tag uh, <laughs> but yeah. they should if they do a takeover oh yeah <laughs> come in versus um yeah the NXT takeover come in versus bloody uh um horses of pain and just get their asses whooped <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Big Show versus Shining Stars. Um, yeah, I guess it's simple. Yeah. I mean, they've got to give Big Show. Sorry, they've got to give Big Show something to do now that his match with Big Fucking Shaq's cancelled. So it's like, oh, I was actually really looking mm. forward to that match. <laughs> now it's gone. so was I. Oh, and then Shaq was like, "Oop, it's gone. Let's uh, let's not do that." And I'm just, just annoying, you know. Because it's been like, oh, yes. it's been such a build-up for so many years. Oh, like, since that Battle first... Royale, wasn't it? Yeah, ages ago. It was, uh, Royal, yeah. Royal Rumble, like, ages ago. He, he came in, like, 2009, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I'll have a look. Uh, Jack Gallagher, the gentleman, Jack Gallagher, <laughs> and TJ Perkins defeating Neville and Tony Nese. I like Jack Gallagher. I don't think Neville and Tony Nese should have been defeated. Is Tony Nese like a, a heel or? I don't know. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Okay. See, I'm like. He is. <laughs> <'Cause>... Um. <laughs> like, Neville's he's like the only real heel. heel. Um, I'm fine with it, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. Like. Yeah, that, that's fine. No, that, that was that was a pretty good match. Yeah. I freaking love Gallagher's headbutt. <laughs> yeah, and he just like waddles around. Oh. Yeah. It was good. Um, oh. Samoa Joe defeating Cesaro. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. I mean, All right. 
Uh, in July 2009, um, Shaquille uh, O'Neal served as the guest host for a live broadcast of Monday Night Raw. As part of the show, O'Neal got into a physical altercation with seven-foot-tall wrestler Big Show. So, the match has been going since, like, 2009. And that, that's it's been building, eight years. It's been building to, like, now, and Shaq's like, oh, no thanks. Once he it, saw it was, Big um, Show's abs, he's just like, nah, <laughs> you know. He did, he did, um, uh, in last year, uh, the Andre, uh, the Giant Memorial the, Battle yeah. Royal. Um, that was when Kane, like, walked over to them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he just, yeah, it was, oh, silly duck. Yeah, because they, Kane grabs both of them, and then they just both grab yeah. Kane. <laughs> And it still says on his wiki that um, he'll face Big Shot WrestleMania 33. Well, he won't. Oh. Um, okay, so what? Uh, Samojo versus Cesaro. That's Samojo. really cool. Well, that, yeah, I that really shouldn't like. have been like. Uh, what happened? How'd that match end again? Uh, Samojo won. Like, Sheamus didn't come out, right? Mm, yeah, no. but like. I think just Samojo. Sheamus didn't come out or anything. I think he just beat him. He just won. Beat, beat him clean, yeah. He, I, I remember him doing his new finisher. After the muscle yeah, buster the, was just um, like, yeah, nah. Yeah, when he, when he bounced him off the ropes. Bounced him off the ropes and kind of does that like, yeah. rock bottom well, kind of thing. Just like kind of rock bottom yeah. sidewalk. His muscle buster was the best. Yeah, but it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, it's too, it's too beast for WWE. <laughs> after, what's his name? Tyson Kidd. Yeah, that was a muscle yeah. buster, was it? I mean, to be fair. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, it was muscle buster. Oh, uh, okay. Well, after... Yeah. <sighs> Kinshasa really is like Kinshasa. another thing that a, a freaking Corey Greaves. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's another. It's another finisher that like is apparently could be banned. Really? I mean, the amount of jaws that it literally just breaks. Well, yeah. yeah. So Samoa Joe, remember in the um how it broke his jaw? Yeah, but he broke good. his jaw. Then he had to cop another one. Yeah, but Samoa Joe's a beast. Oh, he's, he's an like, absolute machine. And it, works, I, it worked so well in kayfabe terms as well. Because it was like, yes, oh, okay, yep. um, he, he got beaten and now he's out for a bit. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm just, that's that's fair. You know, so. Anyway. Um, um, uh, I'm just having a read now. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, Sami Zayn attacked him after the match. Attacked Joe after the match. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And he ended up... Um, so it was just like a normal altercation where they were both pushed away and then Sammy Zane dived off the stage onto a smojo. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, off <laughs> That's like going to be a good match, I reckon. Thing. That's going to be a good match, I He should definitely bring back the Muscle Buster if he could. In that, just yeah. WrestleMania. Just I, and and Sammy Zane can take the nice. Muscle Buster 100%. So. Oh, he's done it. Yeah. He's taken worse. I, um, I, if now the last up thing. To me, oh, I just feel quick, if it was up to me, um, yeah. I, I would have had, like this match, I would have had... Um, at Fastlane, I would have had uh, Sami Zayn defending his US title. Um, like, I would have had Chris Jericho yeah. drop it a while ago, like, like, in the last match that they had. And so Sami Zayn's defending his US title now. And Joe's like, I want that title. And then, you know. Uh, but sadly, it's not. Bloody Jericho injured. Hmm? Jericho injured. Oh, Jericho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we- I, That's the thing I don't like about the kind of storyline at the moment. When does he leave? It's after oh, Mania. He leaves, after, he leaves after Mania, yeah, in May. Because he's got some tours. Yeah, he's got and, uh, a few tours, Fuzzy. Tours with Fuzzy. Bloody. I know. It's a, it's a, um, um, Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman. I reckon they're pretty boring. <sighs> I want Strowman to just beat the shit out of Reigns. But I know it's not going to happen. It's it's not going to happen though. It's just not. I mean, why, every why week it's finished with signing. It's not even a title on. The I know. Line. It's just stupid. I mean, Reigns is going to win though. Like no, I don't. The amount so. of after every wall, after every raw, Strowman has always just finished on top every True. single time. Yeah. I mean, well, Reigns is just going to. That's that's why I've that's why I've picked what I picked uh, when it comes to my predictions because I have an idea for it. Well, who? Okay, fair. I um, um all right, oh, I do like how the freaking the uh turnbuckle. Yeah, turnbuckle. The, rope, the top rope. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. 
But I, uh, they're that very was... inconsistent with all their stuff. Yeah. That's one thing yeah. I don't like. It's like, oh, a turn buckle broke. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Well, what, the the ring's going to break at fast lane now. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Oh, uh, just not. Nah. Just <laughs> not. Nah. No, see you later, alligator. Don't, I don't want that going on. All right. Um, Smackdown. Smack uh, Miss TV, John Cena, oh. and Nikki Bella. That was pretty fun. That was, that was, this was great. I didn't see it. Like, I just didn't see it happening. Yeah. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> no, yeah, it was really cool. The, the, the kind of like shoot, shoot things that they uh, flung at each other and then ended with Nikki, Nikki Bella, Bella and John Cena just having a little kiss. It was real cute. I liked it. I'm, um, I'm, that... glad, I'm glad they're going the way that they are. So it's good. It's yeah. good seeing John and um and Nikki together. Together, I'm just doing a cute face at the moment because it's like oh, I haven't seen them together very well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. They're pretty cute. I like them. No, they are. Yeah. It's it's um it's cool to see that they're actually doing something like that storyline. Yeah, definitely. John's never really done a storyline like that, so. No, the, the Nikki kind of had nothing I did like do. the whole, the fire spitting, during yeah. that whole segment as well. That was a lot. Yeah, man. Oh. oh, it was, it was good to see that they were just given the rope, like given um, just given like free reign to do whatever, with it because often they, whatever they want. Yeah, exactly. And then, well, yeah, you yeah, know, I, I, CM I Punk really just put that also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 but remember, we don't talk about CM Punk. <laughs> I said Chris Benoit. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, no. Chris, Chris, Chris um, Bennett? Chris Bennett? <laughs> you know they removed... Okay, we're not, we're not going to go down this path right now. All right, <laughs> next match. <laughs> Becky Lynch, Ricky James, uh, two out of three falls. Interesting, because this SmackDown oh. was really big that they had another, t- that they had another uh, stipulation match. It's very um, I think they're having a, like a big stipulation smackdown because of because they had like seven weeks before like between um elimination chamber and mania, so they kind of need to make like a smackdown big, you know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, fa- I thought that was interesting. Um, Baker Lynch one, that's good. I guess. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, didn't Mickey James win the first two in a row or something? As well, no, uh, Mickey James won the first first one, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mickey, no, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that, that's uh, right. Someone won the f- I know that, uh, uh, was it? No, Mickey definitely won the first, Mickey definitely won the first, yeah, okay. And then it was, um, because I didn't watch this properly, but like, did um, Becky Lynch get like three quick pins? No, so it's two out of three, so you just got to win two. Um, no, I think it was, she got one and then, um, what's her name, the champion, uh, Alexa Bliss came down, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. that was, so yeah. They, so they won a piece, they won a piece and then Alexa Bliss came down to ringside and then Mickey James got put into the disarmor, which is very yeah. cool. I like the disarmor. That would kill. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. And uh, I, that's uh, like a maneuver that would just destroy. Yeah, hundred percent agreed. It's yeah, she does it really well as well. I reckon. She does very well. <laughs> uh, She's got good arms. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell! Uh, would... AJ Styles uh, defeat, defeated Luke Harper. Uh, that was cool. Oh. I, I'm glad AJ defeated Luke Harper because I just Luke Harper's a bit boring. I think as much as I like him. Well, how did it? How did it? Oh yeah, that's right. Because um, Shane McMahon Harper came rope, down. did a rope break with his leg. Yeah, and then McMahon came down and then he got kicked. Yeah, which is which is interesting, because there's like some rumors that AJ Styles would verse would verse um Shane McMahon at Mania, and I can kind of see it, but if they were going to go down that well, road, then I think they would he go to the Raw year. then. What, AJ? Well, what if, yeah, after the match? Um, I don't know. I think it's just like supposed to be a grudge match or something. Not really any stipulations to it. <laughs> Maybe like Shane McMahon gets kicked out of general manager spot. Um, and then John Laurinaitis comes back. 
Kill me now. <laughs> Power to the people. Bloody hell. Mm. Then Cena puts him through the announce table again. Yeah, uh, all, all, both of them puts, gets to, goes to a... Um, goes, goes you to just bloody, stacks them. Yeah, goes to the next SmackDown pay-per-view, puts them through all of the announce tables, like the Raw one, the SmackDown <laughs> run, the Spanish, the Germans, the Chinese, <laughs> the... the <laughs> <laughs> Japanese, the Russians, everything gets gets put through everything. I would, I would laugh. I'll do that. I'll take those bumps. I'd probably oh, die. That'd be funny. Take those bumps. Um. Oh, now the the next one. This was funny. Well, Ambrose and Hawkins. Ambrose with Hawkins. Yeah, I, I'm sad that they're not uh, doing anything with Hawkins because I kind of like Hawkins a bit. <laughs> nah, but. Yeah, I like the whole Ambrose stuff, how you literally just like... Remember with Ellsworth? Yeah, yeah. How he was out with Styles, and he just walks out to the ring, freaking Dirty D's, and just walks right away. Just <laughs> get, gets out of there, just like, walk off. Yeah, I like Just I like, like and that, he just eh? walks into the ring, Dirty D's straight away, and that's it. <laughs> and then he Ambrose calls out cool Corbin. Like Ambrose is cool like that, when he just doesn't... I, I love really Ambrose. Ambrose him. is great. Yep. I, I also love Corbin. Corbin is a, an amazing wrestler. Yeah, 100%. I hope Corbin wins the title at WrestleMania because I think he should. Yes. Oh, see, that's the thing, though. I, I freaking love Dean as well, but, like, mm, I, I love I, Corbin. He's I such a wrestler. I find Dean wrestler. boring a bit. Yeah. But, I, uh, but it, Corbin, yeah. I don't know. They, they could do anything. I'd be happy. I'd probably be happy with that match hope, with how it ended. I hope it's, like, <laughs> the Ambrose is silent match. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh. Bloody Mitchell Plant comes back. Um, <laughs> maybe you can jump in there. <laughs> maybe. I'll do this. Um, I think they're going to do a stipulation match, like a like a No Holds Barred or something at Mania, because that's just... I mean, they're both... Ambrose needs his... his he needs it. It suits both of them. Exactly. And, and after the Lesnar... Ambrose thing last year just oh. after being Give freaking F five onto like the Taj Mahal of chairs. <laughs> and that that's it. And it's like, oh that's it. Five minutes over. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh remember how like they prepared for that match and Ambrose just walks out, grabs a chainsaw and puts it in the wheelbarrow? Yeah. <laughs> chainsaw, it's like, oh, you didn't use any of those things on the match. Okay. <laughs> nope. And our buddy, um, uh, uh, um, well, the, 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 I'm more than sure the WHS would have been through the roof. <laughs> the barbed wire, like, yeah. yeah. The, um, Mick Foley gave the barbed wire thing. Mick I Foley. Didn't use that. I yeah. Like, That's pretty sad. Um, now, dude, this of, next uh, one. Taj Mahal of chairs. I don't... Oh, the Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah, here we go. The Dolph next Sigo one. And Apollo the chairs and a chairs match. Oh. There's I some like chair fetish going on here. I like Dolph Ziggler. Um, <sighs> did you see the bit? I don't where know. I, I love Apollo Crews. Yeah, uh, I, no. Uh, yeah, I, I get what you mean, but Dolph Ziggler's just so good. Just Apollo like, Crews reminds me of of a baby, um, Bobby Lashley. Baby Bobby Lashley. <laughs> yeah. I I was I was thinking Bobby Lashley in my head as well. Eh? But um, I think a little like, less. And then there's on. Ezekiel Jackson. Yeah, uh, maybe a yeah. baby Ezekiel Jackson. <laughs> maybe they need, they need really yeah, to yeah, do yeah. something like proper with him. Like this yeah, is this is do. proper, but it's only proper because it's Dolph Ziggler. Like, why are they? F I I I I don't get why they're fighting kind of in the first place. Yes, yeah. it's, it's like oh. I mean, I, I get the whole stuff where he kicked Lola and then Apollo comes out to, like, um, help and all that as well. Like, just not standing up for any of his shit. Yeah, true, but it's, like, in the same sentence, it's like, oh. But Lola and Apollo didn't really have any, well, any, any kayfabe, like, friendship. If it was someone like yeah. JBL who came in and was like, I'm going to beat the crap out of you. It's like, well, oh, that's speculated for WrestleMania. Friend. Sorry? That's speculated for Mania. Is it really? Zigg Ziggler and JBL. Oh, I'd love to see that, eh? That'd be awesome. Just because I want to hear the... Just want I mean... to hear the... Ding, 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 ding. His, <laughs> his finisher has to be, like, one of my favourite. The, the clothesline from hell? 
Dude, it's the best. It's great, isn't it? He just smacks people. And uh, when Paul London just sells it, like at the um, Royal Rumble oh. age ago, he just dies. I'm like, yes. oh my God, give me more. <laughs> He's so funny. Ah, uh, no, I like JBL. Um, Randy Orton burning down the white fence. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. Weird. This. I don't like it. I saw it happening the whole time. Uh, it, was, it was always going to happen. But... Yeah, but it's like, why now? I know. It's an interesting story. Now, well, what is he going to do with AJ and... Is AJ going to have to verse Orton now? Well, yeah. Like, I don't know. Orton's like, oh, I want my spot now. And AJ's like, oh, okay, well... Like, did you watch any of Talking Smack at all? Or... No, I didn't get to watch that. Yeah, no. okay. It's but AJ I knew... Was it AJ his... on it? Yeah, he kind of went off his chops at Shane McMahon. McMahon. And it was like, oh, that's yeah. interesting that you're, like doing that now like why is Orton trying to go through more hoops when he could have just been like oh I I won the match I'm number one contender yep let's do this and now it's like oh AJ Styles is now oh I, I'm number one contender so <sighs> I mean it is the kind of whole um what is it Randy Orton personality to do this stuff as well true which but was he's... like the old vintage Orton yeah his whole gimmick though is like like not the um, it's like the snake and viper strikes at the right time, and it's like oh, this is like a really this interesting shit time timing. to strike, you know? Like yeah, like I I don't know why. Why didn't you strike before? <laughs> like get elimination chamber at least or something. It's just do what when Shane McMahon came down when there was a when Luke Harper and that was still bloody um, yeah. in the match pretty much. Just stop it there. Yep, there you go. Done. <laughs> Uh, very, that day of SmackDown? Sorry? Which was, that was a good pay-per-view, uh, oh, pay-per-view, that was a good, um, coverage of SmackDown. Yeah, I really liked SmackDown this week. I, I... I mean, um, interesting to see the ratings, the ratings of this SmackDown. Yeah, I reckon it would be over Raw. No, 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 I reckon then, Raw would be over because, uh, it's the go-home show. Yeah. So I reckon... That's why there would be more viewing uh, raw. Um, <sighs> now two or five live. Let's two, just quickly go zero, over this mofo. Uh, Noam Dar defeated yeah. Lindsay Dorado. Good, I like Noam Dar better. Um, Brian Kendrick yeah, teaches yeah. Uh, Akira Tozawa a lesson. I, I researched it because I don't watch two or five live, and it was just he just told him speak English pretty much <laughs> that's pretty much the thing which is weird oh okay that's racist um then yeah. Tony Nese Harry Di- Davari and Drew Gulak defeated TJ Perkins Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander I don't get that um interesting again yeah is it like is that the faces versus the heels so here's the disclaimer the uh the recording stuffed up from about here, um, so I'm just gonna end up doing the rest by myself. Uh, I'm this is in editing, so I'm just gonna give a, a two or five NXT uh, what ha- the recap on that, and then I'm gonna do the quick uh, fast lane uh, predictions and card. All right, so two or five live. No M Dar defeated Lindsay Dorado. Brian Kendrick uh, teaches Akira Tozawa a lesson, which is pretty much Brian Kendrick just telling Akira Tozawa to not speak Japanese most of the time. And then Tony Nese, uh, Eri Davari, and Drew, Gu- Drew Gulak uh, defeated TJ Perkins, Mustafa Ali, Cedric Alexander. I just random six man tag match. Then Neville and Jack Gallagher brawl, the uh, normal WWE shenanigans before a pay per view. Then NXT, we had Patrick Clark defeated Sean Maluta. Uh, Patrick Clark's pretty cool. He's a bit of a Prince ripoff, and Sean Maluta's just kind of just standard Samoan bloke. Then you had the NXT Women's Championship match. We had uh, Asuka defeated Peyton Royce. Um, after the match, there was a bit of shenanigans with Billy Kay attacking Asuka. Um, then Ember Moon coming and saving Asuka. So there's probably going to be a tag something or other going on there. And then there was the NXT Tag Team Match, um, or Tag Team Championship Match with Authors of Pain defeating DIY by DQ, because the revival who I personally really love, um, Fists Not Flips, 
uh, they came down and attacked the Authors of Pain um, halfway through the match, uh, just when DIY looked like they were going to beat the Authors of Pain, which was really interesting, so we'll have to see what happens there. Right, now time for Fastlane. So, the Fastlane card, we have Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax, Samoa Joe versus Sami Zayn, Rich Swan and Akira Tozawa versus the Brian Kendrick and Noam Dar. Then we have Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. Uh, the Cruiserweight Championship match with Neville uh, going in as champion versus Jack Gallagher. The Tag Team Championship match, the club as champions going in against Enzo and Cass. The Raw Women's Championship match, Bailey as champion going in against Charlotte. And the Universal Championship match, Kevin Owens as champion versus Goldberg. Now, I'm going to give my predictions and try and give Mitch's predictions from what I can remember. Um, so, the first match, I reckon Nia Jax is going to win because I think they're going to go a four-way at the uh, at um, WrestleMania. So, and I think Nia is going to end up winning that match, uh, but not by pinning Charlotte. Who I, who I You'll get the prediction up at the end. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Mitch went with Sasha Banks. Uh, with that one, but I'm pretty much just going to go what I remember. Uh, Samoa Joe versus Sami Zayn. We both had Samoa Joe. They're just building him to be a killer. Um, this match, I would have preferred to, to have uh, Sami Zayn defending his US Championship, uh, which he would have already won off Chris Jericho uh, back when they had that championship match. Um, I think that would have built Sami Zayn uh, really well here, and then they could have gone into something at... Uh, at Mania, maybe a, a four-way or a ladder match or something. Um, also, just give Sami Zayn a belt, which I don't think he's held any belts in WWE yet. Um, I would still have Samoa Joe win, though, because that would just give Samoa Joe a massive push. Um, then we have uh, Rich Swan and Akira Tozawa. Um, I reckon uh, that Kendrick and Dar go over. Um, go over Rich Swan and Akira Tozawa, just because um, I... I like Brian Kendrick and Noam Dar. I just, I don't. I see. I don't know if they're the heels. I'm pretty sure they are. But uh, I've I've watched Noam Dar um, in the Indies uh, over in the UK, and I really like his style and his personality. And uh, the, the Brian Kendrick, I just love him. I uh, remember watching him when I was younger, and just him and Paul London were just great. Um, Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman. I reckon this is going to be a no contest because they are both built to be super strong. Um, un, untouchable blokes so I reckon Braun Strowman or Roman Reigns is either going to do something through a barricade um, they're going to do something through a barricade they're not going to be able to get into the ring at the same time so double count out or they're not even going to start the match it's just going to be a big fight uh, I believe Mitch had uh, Roman Reigns with that one uh, then the Cruiserweight Championship match we both had Neville because uh, he's just too good Neville and Jack Gallagher hasn't really done that much, apart from being a comedy act. Um, and I can see WWE putting the title on a comedy act, but mm, Neville Neville's paid his dues a lot in NXT and both on WWE television, so I can't see them taking it off Neville for a while. Then Tag Team Championship match. Uh, I believe I had the club and Mitch had Enzo and Cass. <laughs> I don't really like Enzo and Cass just because I just find him a bit boring. Um, I think I went over that in the Raw. Um, and the club really need the win, I find. The Raw uh, Women's Championship match, uh, we both had Charlotte because they're pushing that uh, that winning streak at pay-per-views. Um, and which is when I think, I don't think, I think that will go on to either next Mania or go to SummerSlam, that whole uh, pay-per-view winning streak. Um, so I think Charlotte wins the championship match here, and then we get a four-way at Mania, which Nia Jax wins, by not pinning Charlotte, but by pinning Bailey or Sasha, because I believe that they will both be in the match as well. And which that might also be the heel turn between Sasha and Bailey. Um, then we've got the Universal Championship match. Um... I had Kevin Owens and Mitch had Goldberg. Uh, the reason Mitch had Goldberg, I think, was because he he's just he's Goldberg, um, and he's just been pushed to the moon, um, and 
Yeah, I had I had uh, Kevin Owens because the on Raw they were talking about the evolution of Kevin Owens, and I feel like that's how that's what they're going to go forward with, uh, either with um, either with uh, um, Buddy Chris Jericho or Finn Balor coming in. Um, I feel that's because there's a whole bit of thing going on about Finn Balor coming back and fighting Kevin Owens but then you've also got Chris Jericho coming in and fighting Kevin Owens they're both very strong storylines so I feel like there's just too much going on with KO so they're going to keep they're going to keep the title on KO maybe Finn Balor or Chris Jericho comes in um and attacks Kevin Owens and he wins by DQ uh either way I think Kevin Owens holds the belt all right so that's been our uh the uh, WWE recap podcast, uh, the Fastlane special. Um, we'll probably be doing this every week. Hopefully, it won't stuff up next week. Um, but if it does, well, just got to live with it. Uh, thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you guys next week.